Hello, Keith Rock here at VintageMachinery.org. Hey guys, we are working on finishing up this special bolt for the Reed Vice, and uh, this is gonna be part two of a two-part series on making this. If you haven't already, please go back and watch part one. Uh, we are part way through making this now, and we're gonna continue on in this second part here uh, for you to see how this thing finishes up. And let's go. So we've got some relief down here and in here, and I've got a just a cutter I cut out of some high-speed steel that basically fits that profile. So we're gonna go in there and cut that relief and cut that relief. Take this cutter and just touch it in the back side there. And we'll just plunge that in. I'm gonna look on my dial as soon as we touch off right there. And I'll need to go about 75 thousandths a uh, smaller diameter. So I'm just gonna feed in about 10. I have to slow it down just a little bit. right there okay all right there's start cutting 10 20 30 40 50 60 75 right there. So we're set up now to cut our threads down here on the bottom end. And this is a 14 pitch, so 14 threads per inch. I've already set the, the lathe up uh, for 14, but I want to come in here and test it out. So. Uh, we're gonna come in here and just touch off. I've got an indicator up here to keep track of how far in I've moved. All right, we're just barely touching right there. I'm gonna call that zero on the indicator. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna adjust this so that I've got my zero at the top. I just like that a little bit better. That's better. Now, according to the guidelines for 14 pitch, we need to move in 62 thousandths total. And that's what I can use the indicator for you here to keep track of that. Uh, before I do that though, I wanna come in here and do a scratch test, just make sure we're on a 14 pitch. So let me engage this here um, as it comes around. Let's see, right there. And take my pitch gauge here and set it up on there, and that is a 14 pitch. So we're good. I'm gonna zero my cross slide so I can go back to the same spot every time. All right, back out, come over, go back to zero. about 15 thou on this first pass. Like I said, 62 should be where we are. We're gonna be doing some thread measurements here in a little bit to make sure we're right on. So let's uh, engage here. So 
we're crossing 50 thou about right there. I'm to we probably, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna cut this pass and we're gonna get a measurement uh, on that thread pitch. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. So here, here's the situation. Usually what I like to do is I like to just put something up here and do a test fit uh, to check my threads, but I don't have what this screws into and I want it to be a good proper fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna basically just cut it to the same specs as this one. And to do that, I'm using a micrometer, but this is a special micrometer. This is actually a thread pitch micrometer. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look on this anvil, it actually turns around and you got a thread pitch in there and this is the 60 degree pitch up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this over the original one and we'll come in here and we'll get a measurement on the original diameter in that pitch. And what we're, and what we're reading there is 822. And I'm just gonna basically come in here and we're gonna copy that thread depth. So let me get a measurement on this one to just see where we're at. That's pretty close right there. And we're at about 837. So what was that about 15 thousandths to go, I think. Yeah, so we got 15 thou to go. And according to our dial indicator here, of course, what we want to do is is on it is half of that 15, so that's going to be the six and a half. So that's going to we're going to come out just a little under 40 up here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is we're going to I'm going to just take a light pass on this next one, and then probably take a spring pass. We'll measure it again and sneak up on it. going to go to about right here. Right, let's come in here and see where we're at this time. Um, get that in the right groove. just a tad over 622, about 622 and a half. So listen guys, I think we're gonna be fine right there. So I'm gonna call that done. Next step here, we need to cut the cut it off. I'm gonna part it off. I'm gonna part it off a little bit thick and then we're gonna come back and turn around the lathe. We'll face the, the top side off to the correct thickness. Uh, my parting tool isn't really deep enough to go all the way through. What I'm gonna do is start it, and then I'm just come over here with a bandsaw, a little portable bandsaw, and we'll cut it off the rest of the way. Then, like I said, we'll turn it around and clean it up uh, in the lathe. So let's, uh, let's get started here. Biggest thing I'm trying to do with the parting tool right now is give me guidelines for when I'm cutting it with the bandsaw. This way I got a line all the way around it. I'll probably just go ahead and cut it a little bit deep or as deep as I can get it here with this parting tool and then just cut the last little bit with the uh, bandsaw. Alright, that's deep enough for now. Let me go grab the bandsaw and we'll cut that off. So let's get in here and get this cut. It's nice because I have the, the slot where I've cut here with the parting tool. So I really have a nice guide to kind of keep me from getting off with this thing, kind of visually see where I'm going. So anyway, I've used this method before it works good. Let's see, uh, let's cut her off. go. 
So the last thing here is get this head thickness right. It's 350 thousandths is uh, on there, and we're measuring about 425 here. So we got about 75 thou to come out of there. So turn the lathe on. Go ahead and get that out of there. Use my indicator over here on the carriage again. We'll, uh, make a first pass and get another measurement to figure out where we need to go to. Sixty thou to come out of there. Uh, take about twenty-five. Thirty-five to go. Should be our final thickness. Let's see where we are, just to make sure. Yeah, and we're right on the money there, 350. All right, I'm gonna chamfer that edge. Break the corners, not really chamfer it. If I can get in close enough, if I can. That's plenty right there. I believe the lathe work is done. I'm most through with this part now. The last thing we got to do is take care of putting some type of means in here to tighten this thing up. So uh, in the original part, you can see there's a big slot here, like a big screwdriver slot. And uh, he told me, the guy I'm doing this for, he told me he said really didn't like this. He didn't really have the right kind of tooling to do that. Wanted to come up with something different. He had talked about putting a hex head on this, but that was going to raise it up a little bit higher and really not work it out. I suggested that we put a um, hex uh, slot in here for like an Allen wrench. And I think that's what we're gonna do. And to do that, what I've got is this little uh, uh, hex brooch here. And uh, honestly, guys, we're, we're gonna be cheating a little bit here. This is actually goes in what's uh, called a rotary brooch. It's a thing that kind of really vibrates when you put it like on a lathe or whatever and you just press it in, it just kind of vibrates in and does a really nice job of putting these um, uh, like hex slots and whatever inside of something. I don't have the head to do the rotary part of that, but I've done this before. And we're just gonna basically drill a hole, just slightly undersize the, uh, the distance across the flats here. And we'll just go over there and take it to the press and we'll just press it down in there and it will still cut those, those corners and make a nice little, uh, key slot there. Uh, like I said, I've, I've used this method before. It's not the, the really the correct way of doing it, but uh, it, it gets by. So anyway, that's the plan. I said we were done the lathe, but we're going to take this back over there, chuck it back up and get a hole drilled in there, uh, basically for that to go down into and broach those corners. All right, let's go ahead and get that hole drilled in there. We'll start by just putting a center in here to get us a place to start our drill bit on. That should be plenty. And this is a 7 16th inch drill bit. And we're just going to go in there, ah, probably about a half inch deep or so. All right, that should be plenty deep enough. And lastly here, we're gonna come in with a countersink. And I just wanna put a little chamfer on there. Let me slow that down. Just wanting to put a little bit of a chamfer on there. That's gonna help get that broach started nice and on the center. I really want it to be, we're gonna be cutting out those corners. But I really want this to kinda, 
Yeah, that's going to be perfect. It, it helps center it up in there when I get over to the press. So I think that should do it. So we got the rotary brooch here. I'm going to do this on the hydraulic press. I thought about trying this on my Arbor press at home, but I uh, just figured it would go easier on this. So looks like we're pretty straight. Great, but we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to do this by hand on the hydraulic press. Push that down in there. See how it's coming here. And with that, guys, we've got a nice hex hole in there. And uh, here's a the Allen wrench that just fits right down in there. So now we got a nice hex drive for that, no problem at all. Easy peasy. Well, our broach job was a success. As you can see here, we have a nice uh, hex pattern in there. Uh, that brooch just kind of pushes everything down into the bottom, so you, you just leave enough clearance in the bottom of your hole. You've probably seen that in uh, stuff that's had hex keys uh, broached in them before. And there's my 7 16ths inch Allen wrench. Fits into it very nicely. So, um, you know, that should allow him to get that in there without any problem at all. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this project, this little build. Well, that's going to be a wrap, guys. Uh, we got this little special nut for a reed uh, vise all finished up for Tom. I'm going to get this back in the mail to him, headed back down to Florida. And uh, he had another little piece he wanted me to make for him, a little handle. I'm going to probably just do that one off camera. It's nothing of any great uh, significance of anything, just basically drilling and tapping a couple of holes for him. But uh, we'll get this uh, headed back down your way, Tom, very quickly. And hopefully, this will get the job done for you just right. Uh, and with that, thank you guys as always for watching. Leave me some comments if you like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, catch me on the next video. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.